God is infallible. If he promised you that, he, they can have that. What may be in this universe? Criteria to meet, inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can stay in the paradise. God is inconceivable, do anything he like. It's his world, his ball game. I like how you deal with that. Most people would have shut their minds and just said, well, because this sect, this, this sect or this faction doesn't believe as I believe, they are wrong. And there's no... <laughs> There's no other way around it, but how you did it, you did it in an all-inclusive manner. And that's what I find so interesting about Krishna consciousness and the teachings of the East, even Egypt. They were all-inclusive. They tried to find a way to make everything serve God without using force. If, uh, if well, that's see, that's thing. not, that's uh, what they call it. You got, uh, how they call it, capitalism, communism, socialism, all the same. Just did it in a different way. But we're talking about the Supreme Lord. He loves you more than you can understand. And that dude that I'm thinking, I'm this body. I'm working for the maintenance of this body. I'm working for the maintenance and to please my senses. So this is like a perverted reflection of the spiritual world. We're here trying to serve ourselves, not God. Mm -hmm. So, because we are conditioned soul, we can't remember previous life. We can't remember that we are soul, that we're not different than God. So everything going on in a perverted way, because of the bodily conception of life, you can't remember past lives. Some psychic can remember some things, but where are they? They're still here in the material world. Okay. You understand? Okay. So in your heart, are already built in two things, right and wrong. Just said the sun mounting the wheel of time. The moon is nourishing vegetation. God created everything, the rivers, the mountain, the lakes, the ocean. He put everything here on this planet for man to survive. Now simply man need to learn how to serve the Lord, not for the Lord to serve us. In order to become eligible to go back to that place that's never destroyed and that is the spiritual world back to the spiritual sky all material planets come they leave at a certain time is a dissolution there so I mean we use our intelligence you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and one last quick question to close this up because I know you gotta go and I gotta bring this prasadam out to Queens for the family anyway mm -hmm. so this is the this is the most meaty question but probably the most interesting answer or the most simple answer, what is the science of the Maha Mantra? Why is this so important for us to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. What is it about the sound tone? Is it, is it just a bunch of words that people say to feel good or is there something more to it? Uh, that Maha Mantra is transcendental. It's word vibration. Just like you want to talk to somebody in California, you get in the phone, you pick it up, and you dial the number. And that person on the other end picks up the phone, and then you can talk to them. But in this age of calling you, it's so, so charged with negativity. It's very difficult for man to be peaceful. Mm -hmm. So this Maha Mantra is the 16 holy name of God. And by chanting this mantra, we, we bring peace to the mind and cleanse one consciousness and heart. If one becomes very sincere and chanting his mantra, he can see the results of it. You have to try it. I tried it, so many others tried it. Who can be more rascal than me when doing all these things outside that the regular people do? If I chant this mantra and come to realize Krishna is God, and all his bona fide representatives are working on his behalf so we can stop this suffering, sickness, disease, old age, and finally death. So the mantra is very important in this age of Kali Yu because we got so much dirt in our hearts and dirt in our mind. We need to be cleaned up, and that is the purpose. Everybody's attracted to the Lord's energy. And, uh, so this is the purpose of the Maha Mantra. Hmm. See?
Well appreciated. If you can spell your name so I could put it properly on the video. Okay, J A G A P I T A. Das, D A S. Jagapati Das. Okay. 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 So I appreciate this time, and uh, you know, this material life is unpredictable, but I pray that Krishna's full grace will find you wherever you are. Mm. Radha's full grace will find you because you can't circumambulate one without the other. There you go. <laughs> I come to find that you cannot accept Krishna without accepting his mercy principle. True. His feminine principle, which is Sri Radha. So I, I just pray that their grace finds you in this life and in the next, you know? Well, actually, in my next life, you're going to have to come and visit. I uh, get me. You had to get right to come back to the spiritual world. I ain't Fair enough. Yeah, this is it for me. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this is my last material incarnation as well. Thank you very much, Prabhu. Yeah, you and all blessings and grace right, and obeisances. Right, all right. And just remember, if you um, when you see this video, just tell them that Krishna's lowest devotee recorded this thing for you. All right. Everybody want to be the lowest devotee. Tell them the lowest well, of the lowest. Right here. Here. Here, 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 <laughs> yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. If one think themselves lower than the straw in the street, become more humble than a blade of grass and more tolerant than a tree, and walk the walk and talk the talk at the same time, you can go back home in this lifetime. Oh, man. That's it. Sun Man Patu, king of YouTube, out. Peace and blessings, y'all. Okay, my man. All right.